All right, everyone, this is just a quick um, little explanation as to um, the new bell schedule. You can see our ordinary regular bell schedule on the left, uh, the one that we operate on every day except for early outs or any kind of day with strange circumstances. The one on the right now is our new modified regular bell schedule. Okay, as you can see, this is just about the same. Um, we are going to 57 minute class periods. Grab and go breakfast has changed a little bit. It's going to be from 9.54 to 10.02 um, on the new bell schedule. And you can see the times listed. I will send this schedule out to everyone via Schoology, email it to your teachers and get it printed and stuck up around the building. Uh, you can also see lunch has changed a little bit as well. The periods are all the same, but there's just a slight change as to the times of these things. So. Go ahead and take a look at it. Make sure you ask if there's any questions. One other strange thing is at the bottom, this class period is three minutes longer than the rest. What that means is we are going to um, sound a tone at, at 327, and that's gonna signal um, that it's time to check missing assignments. Okay, and when we do that, then the expectation is going to be that students get out their computers and see if they have any missing assignment emails or anything like that. Teachers will also check the AAP list and if they have any students in their eighth, eighth period class at that time that they are going to um, take them down to Mrs. Hellerick's for um, for a 10th period. So um, if there's, again, any questions, make sure you ask a teacher. Now, the reason we did this is because our snow days. Essentially, we, we get out at noon on a Thursday and we would have had to come back um, that Thursday, all of Friday, Monday and Tuesday of this next week, because we have to meet a certain amount of minutes um, per the state of Nebraska. Changing this bell schedule for the amount of time we're going to change it will make those days up for us. So we just have to all keep our fingers crossed um, that keep our fingers crossed that we don't have any more snow days and and we should meet our meet our requirement um, as the as the state mandates. All right, also I have a, a quick little announcement and that is with our map test reward days. Okay, since we've changed to a modified schedule for the remainder of this school year, we will no longer be having Bulldog prep as we currently know it. This is problematic for the map test reward days that were earned by students making their tier one or tier two growth goals. As a compromise and to honor that earned privilege, we will be adjusting for a few Friday bell schedules to allow for that time. Essentially, we'll run a 2.30 early out bell schedule on the Fridays listed below. At 2.30, the students who have qualified to attend the alternate Bulldog Prep Fridays and are not on either a warning week or an eligibility down list will be dismissed to the gym or new commons area for games. The rest of the students will remain in their Bulldog Prep that they are already in at the end of the regular 2.30 early out day and work on schoolwork or read their AR book. The days of the alternate Bulldog Prep Fridays with a 2.30 early out Bell schedule are listed below. We have three of them there for you. That should equate to pretty much the exact same amount of time you would have been getting out anyway. So again, we're going to do some fun things then, and and you know that's a credit to all of you who who uh, increase those scores going forward. And let's this is a you know a slight change of pace, but I think overall it's a pretty good compromise to make sure we don't have to come come back to school for those extra days. Um, and, and otherwise, let's just finish the year out strong, everybody. Two thousand. 1819 uh, has been a been a great year to be a bulldog and and let's keep it going into next year